the analytical survey. The analytical survey is a particular designed survey. And what it does is it answers the question, is what we're providing as a service meeting the needs of the population we serve? Now, answering this question is in keeping with the guidelines provided by the World Federation of Occupational Therapists. The WFOT provide a really helpful short publication called Developing an Occupational Therapy Service. Freely downloadable and the link along with the reference is at the end of this infographic. Identifying how best to deliver a service is necessary and it's necessary for many reasons. It's to enable service growth, provide a service which is efficient and effective, provide adequate support needed by service staff, for gaining funding to justify existing resources or justify requests for additional or new resources, including staffing, and importantly, to enable staff job satisfaction. And that tends to be a product of using the survey because based on the survey, you change a service in order for it to grow and develop. The service gets better, job satisfaction gets better. So all of these things are what you can achieve by using the analytical survey. You don't have to be aiming for all of these outcomes, but all of them are possible. And I'll refer to a couple of examples later. As an overview, just to give you more of an idea of this survey, the analytical survey method, or the ASM, was developed by van der Raden, 1998. Van der Raden is the surname, first name is Dane. And Dane van der Raden is a South African OT who is the top expert in the VDT mocker. And she's been using or developing the model for probably 50 years or more now. And I've had the privilege to do a lot of work with her, including on using the analytical survey in the UK. So Dane did develop it. And it's essentially a compilation of important, relevant data on a client population deemed representative of the usual client population of a service. So what you survey or who you survey is a selection of your current clients on the understanding that they are not an odd group of people. They will be of the same range of diagnosis, the same age range and have the same kinds of presenting problems as other clients. They are a sample of what is your usual client population. So using the survey does not require additional assessment by any team member, but utilizes team knowledge of the clients that are included in the survey when it's undertaken. So all you need are people who know the client and can describe or rate their abilities and uh, what their problems are. Now the survey data tells us a great deal about who our client population is what their strengths, problems and needs are, particularly from an occupational therapist perspective, but it can be a wider team view. It tells us how long they're in our service, what we provide as treatment, what clients engage with, whether what we offer attends to their problems and needs in terms of quality, quantity and how efficiently. So that's what the data tells us. Then the analysis of the data will indicate to us how suitable and therefore potentially effective an established occupational therapy intervention program is. And it could also be also a ward activity program or other intervention in the service. How suitable is it for the clients that we have the data on? It will indicate the gaps in our service provision, therefore aspects for improvement. And because the survey includes data on levels of creative ability, this leads to identifying the nature of intervention that is required. And it's by utilising VDT mocker knowledge that the analytical survey can so impressively achieve all that it does. The ASM can be used with any size population, small to extremely large. So you could survey a small caseload. Um, it's usual 
in the UK to survey just one ward, which is about 15 beds, or well, I would call that a fairly small caseload. Or you might survey, for example, all the male forensic rehab wards or an entire healthcare service or other service. So you could come outside of healthcare and survey a workplace. You could survey your OT team and see what levels they are, what strengths and abilities they've got, what tasks they're doing, responsibilities they have, and do they match your staff levels, for example. Or you could survey a community facility, a school, um, a community project. But the surveys that I've been involved with have mostly been an OT service provided to one or more wards. And I've surveyed a small rehab service as an MDT-wide project, but you decide on what service or parts of a service you're going to survey. So that's what the analytical survey is as a concept.